Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on freeze framing, and it's basically a single frozen clip from a following clip that will allow your clips to transition together seamlessly. So without further ado, let's jump on into it. If you guys enjoyed that little video, be sure to click that thumbs up and subscribe because I'm going to make some more stuff in the future. So freeze framing in general is extremely easy to do. Say I have this transition right here where I want to transition from this clip into this clip. What I would simply do is grab a frame from this clip that I like, which could be probably this one right here, and I'll simply click this little export frame button. If you don't see that, simply click Control Shift E, or also click this plus button on the side and drag in the export frame button right here. And make sure you export it to a location that you can easily find it, and name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name this Freeze Frame. And then all you have to do is drag that freeze frame into your timeline above your video clip. As you can see, the freeze frame is actually fairly long. Just drag that to a couple frames long so we have something to work with. Click on the picture layer above your video layer and go over to the opacity tab and click on this free draw bezier. All we're going to do is simply mask out what we want to be the frame. You can spend a lot of time on this or you can spend a little time on this. If you guys notice that whenever you click and drag, it'll allow you to do a free bezier curve. This doesn't have to be exact since it's going to happen so fast, so I like to do just a rough little edit around the edges. Alright, so once that is complete, you can see that we have this little mask right here. Simply hide your bottom video layer and then go over to the mask feather and adjust the feather to whatever you like. Sometimes I like increasing the feather to get a different effect. Other times I like to decrease the feather to create a more contrasty edge. In this example, I'm going to simply set the feather to around 50. Unhide your bottom video layer and simply find a spot where you want this to show up. I want it to show up as it's spinning right here since it's happened so fast. So I'm going to drag this right there and I'm going to make this about two frames long, and cut it. You can delete the other clip if you want to, or you can use it for other freeze frames. I'm gonna go through here, and I'm gonna make this one one frame, and then I'm gonna go through the end and make it a four frame. So this is what I currently have right now. As you can see, we have a little freeze frame flicker that comes in right there for two frames and one frame right here, and then two frames right there again, which seamlessly blends into our next clip. But I'm gonna take that a little bit further and click on these two guys and hold Alt on the keyboard and drag those forward a little bit, because I kinda want some ghosting effect. So right away, I want that to happen, and then I'm gonna bring it back in right there, and then maybe one more time, but I'm gonna shorten it down like that. So as you guys can see, we are getting some interesting effects right here. As we are transitioning into this clip, there is like a ghost layer that is happening with the freeze frame that we decided to choose and it goes on further. Another quick little tip you guys can do is color correct your footage to really make your footage stand out just like so. So let's jump into a few other techniques that I like to do when I'm using freeze framing. Right here in the beginning I brought in my clip and as you can see in this freeze frame compared to this freeze frame, it is actually brighter and more feathered out. So with the mask that you create, you can actually increase or decrease your feather to create some more contrasty or soft edges. Also play around with your exposures because different exposures does different things for your particular transition. Another little tip I like to do when I'm creating these freeze frame transitions are simply cutting up the audio so that it matches the freeze frame. So as you can see right here, as soon as this arm freezes, up in the air, I'm cutting out a lot of the audio and vice versa with right here. And this will be completely user dependent, but basically whenever I am freezing the clip, I am sometimes pulling out certain bits of audio that I have. Also, one other tip that I would leave you guys with today is actually rescaling and resizing your freeze frames. So for example, click on your freeze frame that you have right there, and under motion, you can simply change your position and scale to create an interesting personal freeze frame. So hopefully you guys learned something today. If you did, be sure to click that thumbs up and subscribe because I'll be making some more stuff in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye.